Hi guys, Sherry here. I'm so stoked. I totally forgot to mention in the Twin Flame reading that here is my book. So this is the Major Arcanas. Um, so it's still kind of a rough draft, but um, this is my description. I'm super stoked to show it to you guys. So I still have to do um, all the, the four suits as well. So it'll be a lot bigger than this. So yeah, so if I feel called to, I may read from my book. We'll see how it goes, but here's my cards. Let me give those a shuffle. So this is the Divine Masculine reading for May the 9th until the 19th, 2017. So I'm back from a little retreat. I had to hermitize myself in order to, you know, get this book, at least a good portion of it done. And I'm quite surprised at how easily it came for me. So it's gotta say something that I'm on the right path, right? Okay, so I got a couple of new decks. I have, um, this is the Ellen Dugan Witches deck. So I'm going to use these for the main cards. I'm going to be doing a uh, Celtic Wing Spread. So I'll use these for the main energy. Uh, but then I'm also going to pull some clarifier cards. So I'll use my deck. I'll pull one from my deck. And I will also be using this deck. So this is Fairy uh, by Lenormand. They're Oracle cards. So I like these cards because they really emphasize um, the card that's on it. So it's a um, really interesting kind of new twist to how the cards can be read, which I'm always looking for, different ways to to see the cards. Whoa, so I'll pull one card per position for that. All right, here we go. So, beginning with your present position. Seven of Cups. So this is a feeling of having too many options and knowing not knowing which way to choose. So. Um, all of the options are awesome. Um, they present good things to you, like per perhaps maybe buying a new house or traveling or, you know, just abundance coming towards you uh, because of a choice that you've made in terms of your job or... Um, but anyways, they all represent good things. So you're currently in this hazy kind of airy um, mode where you're in thought. And the feminine actually had that uh, reflected in the twin flame reading, feeling like um, you know she doesn't know her way forward, but yet she's still in a, this open uh, receiving and giving love, unconditional love to the masculine. So um, I was really kind of picking up in the twin flame reading that you are uh, making a decision to leave um, you know, negative emotions. So this could be a mental move, uh, you know, a 5D move in your mind, a transition in your mind, or it could be actually a 3D movement away from something that is emotionally draining to you. So what I'm feeling here is that you're, um, you're trying to see your way clearly, basically. And what Spirit is saying is to listen to your heart, follow your heart. Okay, so this is like the moon card. So this card reflects back what is not seen. Uh, so it's just further emphasis on this card that you are in this unknowing kind of energy right now. And uh, so Spirit is kind of asking you to really look at those things that are holding you back. Uh, what are your fears? What are the barriers? Are they coming from within or are they external? And can they be released? Uh, so it's things that are hidden. So one card from my deck. <laughs> nice. Ace of Cups. So you are wanting to begin um, new love. Or you feel as if you're ready to pursue um, love. So the Ace of Cups is a brand new beginning in love. Uh, so it's getting to the point where you've let go of the past, you've let go of your fears, 
uh, you're forgiven yourself and you're forgiven others. And so you're now an open vessel, an open channel for uh, love. And only then can you actually attract love into your life. So there's a sense that you want a new beginning, um, but you don't know how to uh, get there. Okay, so in your foundation, wisdom, the book. Oh, actually, I did that wrong. I was supposed to pick this card first. Uh, Knight of Pentacles. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Okay, so the Knight of Pentacles is my favorite knight. It is, it is a movement in the 3D towards this manifestation. So it's something that you've been working on for a very long time. You've put a lot of planning into it. Uh, you've, you know, you see this long-term goal and you have a strategy to get there. Uh, so it's movement forward and it's coming in your past position. So when this knight shows up, it usually means that he's about to arrive. So there's a sense that you've arrived at this point, this, um, you know, heavily grounded knowing. And I'm saying knowing because this card wanted to show itself first. So I'm I'm thinking this is the main energy for the foundation. Uh, so this is knowledge, wisdom, um, and it is, um, let me just read it. I just kind of drew a blank just then, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> so I'm, you know, I'm just starting to learn these cards. Okay, number 26, so it says the house of the book shows where knowledge may be gained within or without. It gives to the card above it and about it the light of clarity and preservation. It can mean that the information required is easily found and shared, so knowledge and learning. So um, it seems to me that you've acquired a lot of knowledge and you feel like this abundance of um, understanding about your, your path, you have a clear vision and you feel like almost saturated with wisdom and um, determination and abundance like you feel prosperous really achieved in the 3d world the, these two cards I'm almost feeling like it's a king of Pentacles kind of energy um, but it's arriving at that point okay one card from my deck Wow the Sun card Major Kana. So I'm actually, I don't have that one actually finished out. So the last card I have done is the star card. So I won't be able to read that to you. Yeah, let's see the star card's the last one I have printed. My apologies. Okay, so hopefully another one will show up for us here. But the star card is, um, it is the best Major Kana. So it is, yeah you know, all the good feels, and it's coming towards you. So it's abundance, prosperity, victory, success. Um, it is um, a brand new beginning, seeing life through a child's eyes. Uh, it's just this explosion of everything good. So the masculine, uh, this also represents masculine energy. So you, masculine, have stepped into your power. You feel like strong and um, accomplished and grounded and wise knowledgeable you've really been doing a lot of work that's amazing such heavy grounded energy for the foundation yes I've got paint on my hands okay so recent past position oh geez I did it again okay so spirit wants me to use these cards as the main energy cards okay so we'll uh, switch it up a, a bit. So these are just going to be clarifiers. The um, witches tarot. Okay, so this card here, recent past. This card represents uh, boundaries and walls uh, that are constricting you, and these are coming from um, the material world. And the constraints are like the government, the uh, laws, rules, regulations, um, uh, contracts, marriage. Um, so it's in, like institutionalized kind of restrictions. They're conditions placed on society. If you want to live in society, you have to follow these rules. So that's what this represents. So it's a boundary, um, you know, encaging you 
that kind of energy. So it isn't a free world. There, there are these invisible invis boundaries. This also represents, you know, uh, um, the agenda kind of uh, agenda twenty one kind of energy, where you kind of spy on your neighbor. Uh, so yeah, I'm betting that you're awakening to that shit. All right. So let's see. Two of Wands. Yes. Awesome. So the Two of Wands is making a decision in the past that was based on your spirituality, your higher calling, your higher purpose. It's having the world in your hands and, and expanding your mind, seeing all the possibilities. So it's an expansive energy. Um, but now you've made that decision already. It's already done. Okay. So now you're waiting for that energy to come back towards you. So here, uh, the two cards together, it's like, you know, here you are masculine and you're looking at this institution, these boundaries, these um, conditions, these constraints, oppressive energy weighing you down. And you made a decision to break out of that. And that's exactly what I was feeling with this. You know, you've come into your power, your spiritual understanding, you've got this major wisdom and you've You've arrived at a point. You've learned this major lesson. That's what I'm seeing. Yes, seven of wands. Oh, wow. Okay, so this is like you actually speaking out against it or standing up against this oppressive institutionalized energy. So the seven of wands is never giving up, never surrendering, but it also represents expressing your core values and beliefs. So, um, standing up for yourself, essentially. So, you know, here you are masculine with this, you know, speakerphone, and you're, 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 you know, blaring your message out at this energy over here. It's, you know, there's like, a, it's a sense of this awakening. I'm, I've decided I'm not going to be a part of this anymore. I'm taking a more spiritual path, and that's what wand energy is about. It's about spirituality. So you've made a decision and you feel strong because of it. This knowledge and wisdom that you've uh, acquired has made you uh, strong. Okay, so uh, this is what you desire and likely to get. So this energy is something has come to an ending, but it represents, uh, what is it? Initiation, that's what it is. So something has ended, and now you're, you want to initiate a new beginning. So it's a movement forward. Something has ended, and a decision is made, and you want to now move forward with that decision. Wow, the magician. And I might as well get this one too. Three of Cups. Interesting. So this is what you desire to, to, um, to have and likely to get if you stay on the same path that you're on right now. So um, the magician comes after the fool card. So um, it, there's a new beginning starting from zero. I actually have it right here. So I'll just read the first little passage from my book here. <clears throat> okay. So um, zero is not a number, only man's attempt to describe something that does not exist. It is the void, the singularity, source. It is the space between thoughts. It is nothing, and yet all life is born of it. It is ever-present state of now, occupied by the soul. So, oh, so that is the, the, um, the fool card. That is um, the brand new beginning. And you can see here with the, the, the sun that you've come into that beginning, that brand new beginning. You're seeing... Uh, life through a child's eyes and now what you desire to do is to manifest that reality so the magician is uh, someone who is connected to source who uses their crown chakra uh, in order to download information from the Akashic records from source from uh, the collective consciousness uh, he gains that wisdom that knowledge and then he channels it into manifesting it into the 3D world. So he, he manifests his desires and his dreams into the 3D. He materializes it. And he does so by um, directing his focus, his determination, his concentration, and all of his resources 
uh, towards making this happen. So it's a very concentrated energy of actually making shit happen. So that's what you desire. You want to make things happen. You want something to come to completion so that you can manifest um, this new reality. Okay, so the Three of Cups is about love, quite obviously. You got love on your mind here. Um, so the Three of Cups is two people coming together to create a third energy, which is love. So it is a union energy. You are doing this. You want this ending and this new beginning uh, because you want to manifest love into your life. You desire a new beginning. Okay, so a crossroads position. Wow. So message. So this could be, it's basically it's communication is urging you uh, to communicate. Um, so it gives emphasis to communicating. So basically it's important information that either is going to come to you or that you need to share. The Wheel of Fortune. Wow, and the Divine Masculine. Okay. Um, so, the Wheel of Fortune is the completion of a cycle. Uh, so, it's about five to ten years. Um, so, it represents, um, I use the analogy of the clockwork universe. So, you know, everything moves very precisely. It's based on physics and you can't stop the Wheel of Fortune. Uh, it's just never ending. Um, and so this is destiny. Okay, so destiny um, is knocking at your door basically. So in the near future, destiny either arrives or um, um, you are going to be faced with some significant changes. Uh, so this is the wheel of change, okay? So, but on a significant level, so it's a completion of a cycle from five to ten years. Uh, so, uh, this also represents good luck and good fortune um, coming towards you as well. So, the divine masculine, this is you stepping into your true authentic life, your true higher calling, um, and you know, just feeling this power uh, within you and and you know it may be um, this completion comes as a result of some kind of communication or perhaps you may decide you know now it's time to end a cycle uh, and actually you know pursue my divinity um, as a result of, you know, maybe some synchronicities that have come in. Do you know what I mean? Like, um, you know, um, um, like number sequences. Um, I don't know. Just, you know, hearing somebody's name when you think it, that kind of stuff. So, synchronicities. Um, or... Maybe you want to express yourself, your knowledge, your wisdom with somebody, communicate it. Uh, and Spirit is saying the time is, will soon arrive where you need to step into that, that power um, and live your true authentic life. You know, share that wisdom that you've acquired. I hope that makes sense. Okay, so what are you resisting? Ha! The Divine Feminine. <laughs> Why are you resisting her? So, um, yeah, this represents the feminine. It, literally, in the book, it has no other meaning than that. So, okay. Oh, you're scared she's going to break your heart. So, you need to cut that fear away. Um, so, basically, that's what needs to end, is this fear that she's going to hurt your heart. Or this could represent that, you know, in order to have her, it's going to require uh, some pain. And um, so the death card. And yes, I actually have that one printed out. So I will read it to you. Uh, 
Uh, hold on. Getting there. Alright. Okay, so I'll just put it right here. Okay, so transformation. The death card represents a time of deep transformation and change, both inwardly and outwardly. It is an ending of a cycle and the transition into a new state. The changes may appear unwelcomed initially, but clearing away the old will ultimately make room for the new to enter. Whereas the hangman represents letting go of things that are holding us back, the death card cuts away the rot and decay and washes it away. This is a time of eliminating excess and cutting out what was not necessary in our life. Look at issues of trust, attachment, or obsession. This may be as simple as getting rid of old baggage like memories, bad habits, negative behaviors, or self-limiting beliefs. Or it could be as profound as death of the ego, your old identity or old self, ultimately allowing a new consciousness to emerge. This card is asking you to allow transformation to occur in your life. The challenge is not only to let go, but also to learn from the past mistakes and experiences uh, and experience the emotional pain that comes with it. There is no point struggling against these changes because it will happen anyway. Resistance will only cause more pain, both emotionally and physically. So sit back, take a deep breath, and let, go, let that shit go. <laughs> <clears throat> so resistance is futile so that's a little actually a little message from a friend of mine you'll know who you are when I when you hear this okay so um, yeah this is you're afraid of having your heart broken but you need to cut you know those fears away those barriers that are holding you back and just release it let go of that fear uh, the divine feminine loves you unconditionally so or it could represent that in order to have her you know you're gonna have to release something that may cause pain but ultimately it will set you free to you know to be who you're truly supposed to be live your true authentic life and that's gonna you know bring you ultimate happiness when you start doing things for you and not for somebody else when you're happy, then you are able to make others happy. Okay, so your internal environment. Okay, so the fox is an energy of, um, you know, it's like the seven of swords. Um, you know, wondering if someone's deceiving you, being cunning, um, keeping secrets. Um, so you're not trusting uh your feelings is what I'm feeling here and that's why there's that sense of confusion because you're you don't know if you can trust your heart the king of wands okay so the king is the center of the Sun so this is you being in your power um, you are like the king of wands is extremely powerful person uh, and it's a spiritual energy so you are on fire basically you feel uh, or you want to feel um, free like the the chain um, the king of wands is more of a free spirit right uh, they're an entrepreneur they don't let anything hold them back uh, they make shit happen so um, yeah it's uh, he's a leader he goes after what he wants and, and makes things happen so there's a sense that you feel empowered but at the same time you don't know if you can trust these feelings wow the king of wands again so hmm interesting so I have um, a quote in my book for for this it's um, from, okay, this is Brad Pitt from Fight Club. So he says, um, you have to lose everything before you can be free to do anything. So I feel that there's a sense that you want this freedom. Um, you feel powerful, but you want 
to be ultimately free and um, but you don't know if you can trust yourself but you know to take that step okay so your external energy nice okay so this is like um, it's like offerings it's gifts it's like a bonus and so this is in your external environment okay eight of pentacles so work this has to do with work and building up uh, a wealth abundance a foundation feeling achieved so hmm okay last card two pentacles <clears throat> sorry my throat is dry um, two pentacles is a decision uh, that needs to be made so you got this as I believe uh, I think it was the energy you're bringing into the union I can't recall for the twin flame reading I just did bad memory uh, so yeah that just goes to show you how quickly the readings go after I do them so super hard for me to answer questions after I do a reading for you guys but anyway um, okay, so Two of Pentacles is making a decision in the 3D. And your present position, you're feeling clouded. But in the external, there's a sense that that decision has already been made and there's a change that's occurring because you did actually make the decision in the past already with this Two of Wands. So you decided to follow your higher calling, your higher destiny, and now those changes are actually happening in the 3D. And you're feeling unsteady, but at the same time you're feeling like this abundance, this reward is coming to you. And it has to do with all of the hard work that you've been doing. This is all um, 3D uh, abundance. Same thing here. You know, I, I felt that heavy abundance, that knowledge, that wisdom um, grounding energy here. So even though you might feel a little unsteady while this change is occurring, um, it's bringing you these gifts. Okay, so final outcome for these three cards. Okay, so this card is about waiting to make a move. So waiting to strike like the snake here. Uh, it also represents taking it slow. Um, so in the near future you're going to be either striking out or arriving somewhere I don't know the moon hmm so the moon is facing your shadow aspect which you kind of want to do up here you want to put an ending to something but you're resisting ending it because of this heartbreak so in the future you will be facing that fear so or Spirit is at least asking you to do that. So face your shadow side. Face your fears head on and walk through that veil. So that could mean that you actually decide to do it or have done it. Okay, Queen of Pentacles. So what I'm feeling here. Um, so, you know, here we have the, that fox or that, yeah, the fox. And so that's kind of, you know, not trusting um, yourself. And you got the Seven of Swords as a final outcome. So it's, you know, looking over your shoulders, looking over your back to see if someone's going to deceive you or hurt you in some way. Um, so because it's a, an outcome, I feel like you, you make a decision to release yourself from that darkness, from those fears, and you literally strike out, you make your move, you, you, you um, come into your power uh, and it comes as a result of, you know, facing your fears. But the Queen of Pentacles is the um, 3D Queen. So, um, you know, this is either someone who is wealthy, um, independent, uh, but shares her wealth. Um, but it could also represent the divine feminine in her 3D. So, you know, maybe you have a fear of having contact with her in the 3D. And you're waiting for something to happen. Or you're waiting to 
be able to face your fears before you can actually make contact with her. Okay, so foundation, or sorry, this is a summary outcome. Wow. Oh my God. He brought this into the twin flame reading. So commitment. Okay, four cups and nine of wands. Okay, so the four of cups is uh, stagnation and boredom. It is a disconnect. It is, um, it is, you know, feeling like things aren't moving fast enough. Um, so you're there's a scattered energy, restless energy. You want things to happen, but uh, it's just not happening. Or this could mean that you know somebody offered their love to you and re you rejected it or turned your back on it, uh, or vice versa. Then we got the Nine of Wands. So this is the wounded warrior. So this is being knocked down over and over and over again and not wanting to fight anymore. So, but it's a nine. It's an, you know, you're nearing the completion of that. So I'm feeling that because you're afraid of having your heart broken by the Divine Feminine, that's why you've been kind of turning your back on her uh, because you don't want to be wounded anymore. Um, but this card also represents, you know, wanting to give up, but having, you know, the, the power within you in order to give it that final push, um, you know, to completion. And ultimately it is so that you can make a commitment, not only to yourself, you know, to your spiritual path, but also to the divine feminine as well. Okay, so the final outcome. Nice, awesome. The anchor. This totally reminds me of a song, and I can't remember. Um, oh my god, okay, maybe it'll come to me. But yeah, in the video, there's this like this little girl, and she's dancing with her invisible friend that she's had her, her entire life and I think that represents the divine masculine spirit 5d energy so the anchor is boom <laughs> grounded you can't pick the anchor up right so it's you know it's unmovable so it's a, a heavy grounded energy and that's exactly what I felt with this night here nine of wands again okay and the queen of swords so the Nine of Wands is, again, the Wounded Warrior. But in this card, you see she's more of in, as in a defensive mood. Like she, uh, she, doesn't, she isn't as wounded as this uh, warrior is. So, you know, there's a sense of her having power and strength in order to fight that one final battle. But she's in a defensive mood. She's protecting what she's already got. And the sun is rising behind her, and she's ready to, f to fight the darkness away. Okay, and then the Queen of Swords could represent an air sign, but it represents the Divine Feminine uh, in her truth, in her knowing, unwavering. Um, so, you know, this could also represent, it doesn't have to be feminine, it could represent the masculine energy, but you, uh, you know, as a Divine Masculine, making a decision, but it has more to do with your emotions, because... All queens have to do with water. All kings have to do with air, you know, and, and so on and so on. So um, this could be you attaching or um, connecting more with your emotional, feminine side in order to make a decision, um, cut away the barriers, or express your truth. But I think I'm going to pull a clarifier card for that. That's kind of a bit confusing for an outcome. Like you're you're anchoring this energy. Are you fighting off something? Um, you know, I, you know, yeah. Okay, I see. I see that you're just coming into your strength. You're giving it that final push because of um, your truth, your unwavering truth. You know what you want. It's mental clarity, and as a result. Um, you that strength is is like crystallized more or less do you know what i mean okay so will i pull clarification 
No, you'll, you'll, I'm going to do the message from the universe, so that will hopefully add more clarity to this card. What am I doing now? I'm going to look at the bottom of the deck, so I'll look at the bottom of this one. What is that? Queen of Pentacles again. Same card here. So the overall energy for your reading, Divine Masculine, is this Queen of Pentacles. Um, and remember that you had a fear uh, of facing her, um, or you're waiting for a perfect moment in order to make your move in terms of seeing or connecting with her in the 3D. So that's what I see there. Um, but ultimately, you will find that courage and that strength and will to give it that one final push and anchor your strength and your decision to connect with her, I guess. <laughs> well, let's see what the um, message from the universe is. Okay, so I'm going to be using another new deck here. Um, this is... Uh, myths and Mermaids. Whoa. Okay, that one, I guess. Uh, L. Chemical C. So I've only read a couple of cards from this deck, so I'm not familiar with them, so... This card will be just as much as a surprise to me. Okay, well, I'll just leave it there. It's a big book, so... Okay. Radiant, maiden from the sea, asserts her strength and authority, grasps her staff of powers grand. With eyes aloof, she takes her stand. Oh my God, that's hilarious. That's exactly it. She's answer Her spirit is an answering the question for us. Okay. Um, with eyes aloof, she takes her stand among the beasts of the sea and land. She schemes to make all them free. Why would she lead this? Uh, why would she lead the likes of me? So it says a powerful figure stands in the sea, surging with sea mon monsters. Oh my God! Why can't I talk? Uh, her staff of power asserts her authority as the sky begins to brighten behind her. She is coming into her own and stretching her muscles, literally and figuratively. And that's like very similar to this Queen of Swords energy as well. It's, these are all very reflective of what this card is saying already. Okay. Um, she's coming into her own and stretching her muscles, literally and figuratively. So the meaning is anticipate a new authority. The seas are tumbling turbulent with change and soon a new power shall arise a new figure of authority will assert itself in your life and it is best to prepare mentally emotionally spiritually and materially this leader may be in your pro professional spiritual academic or social realm there may be leadership challenges at your work a new spiritual leader at your current place of worship or at a new one um, or even a new acquaintance who will become prominent in your personal life. While a change of authority can be stressful or cause conflict um, for a time, take heart. Once the seas have calmed, life will return to a state of peace and stability. Take the time to get to know this new individual and learn how she can conduct herself. Um, could she become a role model or mentor to you? Is she cautionary example or is she telling you it's time to move to calmer waters okay so very similar energies as um, it's almost like you know there's this anchor that is that is weighing you down or you feel like you have to defend and you you come up against it so you um, so, I mean, it could literally mean a person that you need to um, battle against and find that will and determination in order to stand up for yourself, be courageous, uh, and release yourself from that anchor. I think that's what I'm feeling after reading this card. 
so um, and we got the Queen of Pentacles twice you know and the Queen of Pentacles is also a very grounded energy heavy energy like an anchor well ultimately you are um, it seems to me like some type of message is going to come and a change um, the wheel of fortune will bring some form of change you want this new beginning you've got this wisdom this knowledge and you want to pursue this new beginning and you're pursuing the, the new beginning because it opens your heart so it doesn't necessarily mean that you want to uh, you know new beginning with the divine feminine in the 3d it just means that you are experiencing this new beginning this new state of uh, existence where your heart is open and you're open to possibilities um, so you know the moon showed up twice here so there's still some fears that you need to to face that's something that you need to end um, in order for you to to really fully open your heart and receive that love so that's interesting um, I'm feeling you know in term you know all the other readings really had to do with uh, a mental state here I'm really feeling a heavy earthy state so maybe you've done some clearing in terms of some mental garbage you've released yourself from that mental prison and now you're moving towards this uh, earth physical manifestation because that's what you want to do with a magician you want to manifest something into your 3d world um, but there is an anchor there's something that's weighing you down still in the 3d is what I'm kind of feeling uh, I don't know you want to commit you want to make a commitment to to somebody in the 3d that's and that's the only way I can really read it so let's repeat that uh, you want a new beginning of love. You're afraid of approaching the feminine in the 3D, but you desire to manifest your reality the way that you desire. And it's because of this spiritual wisdom and choices that you've made in the past. Um, although you do feel strong, you still feel wounded and a little protective in terms of, you know, making a, a love offering is what I'm seeing here. Um, so, and it's like a love offering to someone in the 3D, or it could be an earth sign. We got air, earth, actually two earths, so, and fire. All right, well, let me know if this resonated with you guys. Lots of love, peace.